I'm back. And so is winter, if only for a couple of days. But sadly for me, I'm not going to be able to enjoy it because I'm having to move out of this amazing place that I've been calling home for the winter. So by the time you see this, I'll be well and truly homeless. I'll look on full ski bum. But this is it. This is move out day for me. But don't worry, because this isn't the last snow report. There's still a few more weeks to go yet. So if you do happen to have a holiday home sitting empty for the summer and you want someone to house it, hit me up. I'm your man. So Chamonix has a major housing crisis. It's pretty much impossible for anyone who works here to be able to actually live here. But that's a story for another day. But for now, back to the snow. So it pretty much snowed on and off all day yesterday. Granted, not much of it settled down here, but I haven't got to head too far up the mountain to get to the snow line. And I'm sure up on the mountain today, it must be pretty good up there. As I say, unfortunately, I can't really enjoy it, but the blue sky powder day in mid-April ain't bad. It's a season of crazy temperature swings. The day before yesterday, it was 27 degrees in the valley. Less than 24 hours later, it was snowing. And in another 24 hours, it'll be well over 20 degrees on hot and sunny again. So that's the crazy April weather for you. This is me signing out from Lavanche for now. But I'll be seeing you very shortly, somewhere up on the hill. said in my previous report, it's this time of year when Chamonix really comes into its own. It may feel like summer down in the valley bottom, but in a matter of minutes, a lift whisks you all the way up here into this amazing alpine playground. So yesterday, all the classics were being done. There's tracks down the Cosmic Couloir, Glacier Rond, Passerelle or Cunningham Couloir. There's even a couple of tracks this morning down the Trinet Spur and the Col de Plan. Probably Ross Hewitt again, it nearly always is. And there's actually someone abseiling down onto the Mallory as well this morning. And God knows why, because the Mallory still looks terrific at the top, just black ice, but there we are. Also in the Argentier Basin, people have been skiing the Col de Cristo, Col de Court, the Court Northeast Face, Minal Glacier, and Waikoua on the Glacier d'Argentier. So lots of action. Anytime there's good weather, after fresh snowfall, everything's getting done basically. So it's go, go, go this time of year. The Valley Blanche, of course, is still incredibly busy as well. I've just skinned the cross from the Guy de Midi down and back up onto the Italian side, so I'm on the Italian frontier ridge now. I'll be skiing down the Valley Noir and joining up with the Valley Blanche again. But yeah, the Aret is still equipped. There's still thousands of people a day coming down. I expect lower down it gets a little bit tricky. I shall find that out in a minute. But certainly you can't ski all the way down to the gondola now, so I shall tell you in a few minutes just how far I'm going to have to walk to get to the gondola, but certainly it's not so far that it's not worth the effort. Still plenty of people doing it, guided groups and all sorts. So yeah, it's also very much very bunch season as well. The days of being able to ski the ice canyon aren't gonna last for much longer. <laughs> Getting very rocky. There's even water poking through in a few places. This bit's not too bad. There's the first tunnel. The end of the line, as far as the skiing goes, maybe four or five hundred meters of moraine walking to get to the gondola, so not too bad really. But yeah, the Grand Moulet hut for um, skiing Mont Blanc, that's been open for a couple of weeks now. I don't know if anyone's actually successfully skied to the top and back down again, but certainly lots of people have been trying. There's lots of tracks heading across the traverse to the hut. I wouldn't be surprised if most people are leaving their skis at the Valley Bivouac and continuing on foot if they do want to summit. It's definitely approaching the time of year now where skiing Mont Blanc is a viable option both from the Grand Moulet hut and also, of course, the Trois Monts route from this side. So yeah, expect a lot more activity over the coming weeks on Mont Blanc as well. I had a quick look at the Jiva City Couloir on passing on my way over here. 
and it looks like the Bergstrand is now probably just about skiable. You're still going to need to jump it, but if you're good enough to ski the Zurich City Kuwa, you're good enough to jump a little Bergstrand. So the top still looks quite windscarred at the moment, but I imagine the next time it snows when it's not too windy, the Zurich City Kuwa will go. I don't think it's been skied yet this year, but I imagine it will be getting its first ski descents fairly soon. Hopefully this year will be the year that I finally get to ski it as well. It's been right at the top of my to-do list for pretty much since I moved to Chamonix. The north face of the Tour Ronde, which is also a popular ski mountaineering objective in the spring, still looks pretty black at the moment. It's almost certainly climbable right now, but I don't think you want to be skiing it quite yet. But I'll be keeping an eye on that as well, because it's also quite high on my to-do list. I can see some tracks heading out towards the boot pack for Point Gerald and the Traverse of the Guy de la Noire, which I did a few weeks ago. You've hopefully seen my video of that, but that's almost certainly in great condition right now as well. I imagine things such as the Brest are seeing lots of action as well. That's probably pretty well filled in. So in other words, most things in the high mountains are getting done right now. This is the time to be doing it. This is the time to be in Chamonix. This is why we're all here. As for the piece, it's pretty much drawing to a close now for the main part of the piece skiing season. So a lot of places shut this weekend, um, Sunday the 14th, if they're not already shut. So virtually everywhere in Invasion Mont Blanc is closed now, apart from Le Contamine, that closes this weekend. Le Zouche, that shut a few days ago. I'm amazed they managed to stay open this long, to be honest, because the snow there has been pretty poor for a while. In Chamonix itself, Flagere and Le Tour, Tête de Balm, they closed this weekend. Last day is again Sunday the 14th. As I've said previously, Brevont is staying open for an extra week, so you can keep skiing up there until the 21st of April. And Gamonte, that's, that's got plenty of time left yet. They're due to close on the 5th of May, so still plenty of skiing to be done, but yeah, it's kind of very much getting to, towards the end of the peace skiing season now. Although, that said, Conditions on piece in most of those areas, apart from Lezouche of course, is still pretty good, especially around the middle of the day. In the heat now, it's going to be suffering a hell of a lot in the afternoon, so therefore it's probably also quite icy in the morning. But if you hit that sweet spot in the middle of the day, when it's probably lovely spring corn, I imagine it's amazing skiing right now. This is Latour, two days before closing, early afternoon, and the piece conditions are still fantastic. They could easily keep skiing here for another couple of weeks if they wanted to. Despite the hot afternoon sun and all the Saharan dust in the snow, it's still really firm, really fast, it's not sticky at all. Really can't complain. Once again, I'm the only one that's properly dressed for the weather. So if you are coming out here for a late season snow fix, there's still plenty to be doing. Even if you're just coming out here for the piece, there's still plenty to ski at Grand Monte. And of course, if you are coming out here for the touring and the ski mountaineering, well, yeah, the world is your oyster, really. The weather for the next three or four days at least is very, very hot and sunny again. As I've said, it's pretty much the season of extreme temperature swings. So we've gone from almost freezing in the valley to temperature in the mid-20s again for the next few days. It looks like early next week, there's some more weather fronts moving through. Probably going to be raining, well, it'll certainly be raining low down. Don't know how high the freezing level is going to be yet, but it certainly won't be as cold as it was in this last bout. But as, again, there'll be more snow on the way up high. So later on next week, again, could be more powder to be had up in the Valley Blanche. More good conditions to be found on the, all the classic steep skiing and north faces around here. So yeah, next week still could be pretty damn good. So yeah, if you are coming out here, as always, have fun, stay safe. I'll see you next week.